Not down. Cool. Right, we're live. Are we live? <laughs> hello, hello. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Monday Night Game Wonder. Night with Witch yeah. Game First, a relatively new phenomenon for us. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. I'm well, loving it. I, I feel a little bit more lively on a Monday. Yeah, I think you've had the weekend to rest up and you're just yeah. starting off so you're not too exhausted. Yeah. I exactly. Like Sunday like night's that. usually the good sleep night. Mm hmm. <laughs> Usually, yeah, right. <laughs> Usually. <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, today or tonight, we're playing a uh, farm club. Farm club. And I am going to bring you some rules. It's a pretty simple game. It's like more of a kids ish game, which means we at which game first should be able to handle it, right, guys? Uh, I hope so. I <laughs> might hope be I'm... able to get it done. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. It looks pretty cool. I try not to predict these things. Yeah, right. Ed Ed definitely hedges his bets. That he's a bet hedger. <laughs> <My hedger. laughs> All right. Well, wel welcome, Token Fan and Jack Burton. We're glad to see you guys. And let's see. We're going to start with some rules in a minute. I did also bring you some farm trivia because Evan is getting in his last minute tax season work as an accountant uh yeah i think everybody gets if anybody who filed an extension this might be the last day this day don't quote me though good grief but it's somewhere around here and evan should be back in force next week so that'll be good mm. we hope he's not too exhausted <clears throat> all right let's get started farm club is a worker placement game ed it is awesome <laughs> yeah. it is all right, it's played in nine rounds, nine straight rounds. During each round, the player, we're going to choose one set of things, a goal and an animal. That's what we're going to choose. And they come together. You can see them on the screen, wow. the card and the animal below it. There's a little plus sign in between them. So we're all wow. going to get to choose. Each turn, we're going to get to choose between the three cards that are available. Uh -huh. uh, you can you can mouse over the goal card, which is the picture of the two animals. You can mouse over each goal card to see what the goals are. And they're normal scoring goals for like placement of your animal on the farm. Yep. Uh -huh. So to give you the setting, we're going to place our animals on our nine square board, right? So it's a three by three. We got nine spots. Eight of them are for animals. The ninth, the center, the house is for our elected animal our great leader and yes the animals are in charge of this farm so our leader will also be an animal all right 
Animal All right, farm. So, <gasps> yes, it's basically like animal farm for kids. <laughs> All right. So uh, at the end of the game, everyone's farms will be completely filled up and the points will be awarded according to the goal cards that they collected. Right. So there's two ways to score on goal cards. If your goal card has a lightning bolt in the corner, that means it's going to be a quick score, which means you're going to get scored directly after you accomplish the goal. The hourglass goals are only going to be scored at the end of the game. Okay. So uh, at one point in the game, we're going to be allowed to elect a leader. So every turn you get to choose whether you're going to elect a leader, but it's only once ever. Right. Once you do it, you don't do it again. The benefit to electing a leader early is you'll have more leaders to choose from. And if you scroll down on the board, you're going to see the election area. Uh And there's four cars to choose from. You can mouse over them to see what each one of them does. They're essentially like Uber goals. And uh, the earlier you pick, the more you're going to get to choose from. But then you're locked in earlier. So that's the downside. Okay. Mm -hmm. So moving on. Uh, The hiring area has the three sets, which I told you about. Now, there's the two types of goals, which I told you about. Last is... The placement on the board. So the board has nine squares. The upper, the three diagonal squares going from the upper left to the lower right, those three diagonal squares are special squares. The one on the upper left has a animal that you're going to place there and it, or you don't have to place that animal, but if you place the particular animal there, No, it's not already placed. But if you choose to place that animal in that square, you're going to get a bird token. Bird token. And that's a special, yeah, it's a special token that, yeah, later. Okay. Oh. You can use the bird tokens to wipe the goal row or the animal row. And you can use birds as many times as you want, meaning you'll get to reset them, get get new cards or new animals to choose Mm -hmm. from on your turn. So if you place that animal in that spot, you'll get a bird. Uh, The center of the card is the house, and that's where you're going to put your leader, and he can't move. He can never move. Now, is he a real piece that counts towards, like, what you have on the board? Okay. Yes, but he can't move. The other animals can move. Uh, and you can move them by reorganizing your board, which is going to be an option you can choose during your turn, right? So during your turn, after the first turn, you're going to have the option to reorganize, use a bird, or do your goal card, pick a goal card animal, right? Mm-hmm. So you'll get three choices. It'll be simple. It'll tell you. Okay? Mm-hmm. All right. Um, I think that's everything. If I If I've forgotten something, I'll mention it along the way, Ed style. Okay, okay. Yeah, there you go. Now the power is in your hands, Celeste. (laughs) I guess, am I first or we go simultaneous? It says you're first and there is no simultaneous. All right, so I will hire an animal. I'll hire this guy. And that means I could put this piece somewhere. Wait, oh, you must place an animal on your board. Yep. Got it. Okay. Uh, And... What is this? Discard the objective, or do you want to reorganize your farm? No, keep the objective. Mm-hmm. I think. I think. Uh, yeah. I mean, we'll it'd be, it, why would you reorganize it now? You've just placed where you want. Yeah, I have no idea. So, I uh, um, if you didn't care about the goal you just got, you know, mm-hmm. then I guess you could. All right, guys. I also have trivia because we are Evanless, so we're gonna do it yeah. old school style, all my right, way. All right. <laughs> the way I used to do it before Evan took over with the Jeopardy business. All right, all right, all right. This isn't which game first Jeopardy. This is which game first. My way. All right. All right. So the Mallards do look angry, Token fan. I agree with you. They do look angry. They look I angry. like the way that goat looks. He's kind of like, meh. <laughs> the pig has a monocle. All right, so, so it's my turn. Let me hire an animal, then we'll get right into this. Guess what kind of trivia? Mm. <laughs> I probably has something to do with farms. It's my guess. Yeah, it's a good guess. Okay, so now this, okay, here are my options. One is just one animal. All right, so I win three points if I only have one animal of this species. Oh, so I can only ever can have, only one have one goat. Ooh, that right. sounds dangerous. 
if these three animals are on the same row, that seems like a lot of work. Never mind. And then the next one is if these two animals are next to one another vertically or horizontally. I think I'll take that one. Oh, but it doesn't come with um it doesn't come with either one of those animals, which is kind of stinky. Mm -hmm. Uh let's see. Um three points. And yes, don't ballard do look angry. Hey, dude, they have a band-aid on their like crisscross band-aids on their beak. They must have been in a fight. And there's a monocle and some. I'm gonna half go with glasses. this uh, pig uh, sheep situation. I, I think. Why. Pig sheep. Kind of partial angry ducks. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why that could be. The uh, so let's see. If you put it back in the common, replace all three. I will goals. hire an animal. Maybe I'll elect a leader. Maybe I'll do that because well, I don't do like any of these goal cards. So you can pick one you of can... those goal card down there. Okay. Can you yeah, also, when I'll you pick a goal that. or clan card, you can decide now, not do to you keep get it one of those animals with animals. it as well? Uh, I, yes, you get to choose the animal you want as well. So I think I'll do that. Oh, how do you choose the animal you want? You, in the election for the leader. So oh, when you but, elect but if you leader, do that, you they have to go in the middle though. So if you're playing, yes, they, to have they are my the leader. Middle. They're my leader. How do you, is there any other way to get animals like this pick bag over here? Is that just get a random one or something? If you have a bird token, you can put it back in the common stock to replace all three goals or all three animals in the hiring space with three new goals or three new animals. Oh, boy. If I elect a leader this early, man, I could get really unlucky with the animals that mm -hmm. come up. That's what I'm worried about, too. Later on, I'll know more about my farm. I'm doing it. I'm electing a leader. All right. I'm going to elect a leader. Electing a leader. Here we go. Oh my gosh. I'm really setting myself up for a tough game here. All right. I am confirming. I am my, uh, the pig is my leader. Fear our fearless leader. All right. All right. Your leader. All right. Cool. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. How do I get? Uh, so Jack, you, you know the answer to that question. Yeah. Jack Burton wants to know if we can, if he thinks we can finish in the, uh, in the said time. So the said time of this game is only like 15 minutes. I think that is beyond our capability, even though it's minutes? a children's game. Um, so there's no other way to get animals other than electing or hiring, right? Well, you're going to get one animal every turn, regardless of what you do here. Right. I want a specific one in a specific no, spot. Uh, you can use a bird to try and get a different choice. No, I'm going to do this. Uh, yeah, okay, okay, ready for the first trivia? And yeah. yes, shocker, everybody, it is indeed about farms. Well, the first one is more about a farm animal. Let's start with... What's the farthest that a chicken has ever flown? Interesting. Chickens do not fly far. Mm -hmm. So the farthest oh. recorded chicken flight. How long is it? It is 60 feet. Oh, token fan coming in hot with 150 yards. Oh, we're both pick we're all picking off of the same hiring thing. Oh, I thought we all had oh okay. yes, but it's but it refills as you go. Uh-huh. Um, so Ooh, Jack Burton going high, G outbidding token fan with 200 yards and Greg Jansen coming in low. The dollar bid with 20 feet. <laughs> All right, we'll give it another minute or two. And then let's see. It's my turn to hire an animal. Oh, and it doesn't give me the choice to elect the leader anymore. Nope. Mm. Okay, what is my goal card? I better, I should probably pay attention to that. Here they are. Wait, where's my goal cards? Oh. Ah, here's my board way down here. Wait, what? Oh, this is my board. Oh, can you only have two goals? Uh, uh, hmm. No, I think you can. I think you can have as many goals as you want. I hope so. So, where is my card? Where's my leader card? Leader card? Oh, it stays on the board. Okay, it stays down below. Okay, so I only have this. These five animals are among my. So I chose. Wait. Where is my leader card? I'm just looking for my goal card and I don't see it. That's why I'm asking. Mm. The leader card I bought. Well, I see it in the uh, in the uh, 
Didn't it just be signified by the guy? I do the see it in the stream, but I don't see it on the board anywhere. Which I is mean, interesting. All it is is just uh just your guy in the middle, right? Doesn't that represent? Oh, and I the see what picture you mean. The of the election. animals. Oh, the too. election yeah. card. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. the picture of the election. It's weird. Okay, so anyway, let me look. Let me pick my thing. It's two animals, and that one still doesn't come with a sheep. And this guy is no, because I need to keep an eye on that. Mm. So let me do this. I'm gonna take a picture of it right now. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see it. Do you? I Isn't don't hear that, that, that is so uh... weird. Okay. So let's see. We are going to, okay. So I need that and that and that. Okay. And if those guys are together, uh, yeah, I'll take. No, this is a horse, right? Is that a horse? Yeah, it's a horse. Yeah. Good. I'll take that horse. I'm going to place that horse right there. Oh, now that my horse. goal popped up. It popped up after I chose a, a card. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, keep the I'll objective. Keep there. Yeah. If these two animals are next to one another vertically or horizontally, immediately win three points vertically or horizontally. I'll keep the objective. All right. All right. Enjoy. Oh, I can use a bird now. All right. I will. Hire this guy, and I'll put him over. Hmm. <laughs> well, uh, they're making fun on the feet of Greg Jansen, who went low, but Greg says he has no faith in chickens, so that's why he came in low at 20 feet. And I would say if overbidding was a problem here and that disqualified you, then Greg Jansen would, in fact, be the winner. <laughs> because uh, the rest of you guys went, well, actually, you know what? Let me see Wait, here. what was the total? What was the number? I'm going to tell you, actually, ah, wow, this is a tough one. Okay. So what did Token Fan bet? He bet a, 200 yards. And did somebody come in at 150 yards? Okay. It's wow. 301 feet. Whoa, 301 feet. So 100. Three. 100.3 yards. Yeah, so you guys overbid. Only one who came in under was Greg. Um, I said 60 feet. The rest having far too much faith in chickens. Yeah. I said, 60, I said 60 feet, so I'm in within the terrible, 100 yeah. feet. Yeah, yeah. 60, um, yeah, and the longest that, that – I, I think the longest flight was something like 13 seconds, which I don't know how it got 30, wow. 300 feet in 13 seconds, but all right. All right, everybody, here's the next trivia question. Let's see. What percentage of Americans mm. think that brown cows produce chocolate milk? <laughs> Come on. Oh, I really wish the answer was zero. <laughs> I really wish. They, are, they, are they counting all age groups? Uh, it just says, it's, the question is what percentage? Also, Jack Burton wants to warn Mikey that this is a children's game, so you may want to scale back your epic strategy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm gonna I'm going for it anyway. I, I think I can do it. Let's see. Ooh, ooh, I need two of these animals. If these two animals are next to one another vertically or horizontally. Oh, duck sheep duck. If they're sandwiched in the middle, you get a bonus. No, not me. That's a chicken, not a duck. Oh, oh this one. Yeah, duck, duck sheep, sheep duck. No, that's way too hard. I'm never, if I can avoid it, I'm never picking a three goal. Mm. I don't like that goal either. Wow, this is a tough one. I'll take this guy with the sheep. Oh, okay. And I will put the sheep here. Boy, I'd love a bird. Yeah, I haven't seen a chicken in a hot minute. Except for this ugly, stupid one. I'm going to try to reorganize my farm. Well, not yet. I'll keep it. I'll keep the objective. Okay. All right. So that one is more ducks than anybody. Yeah, I think I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to elect a leader. I'm going to get this one. And I'm going to get that. Okay. All right. Uh, Wait, where did my board go? Oh, there we go. It just got weird. 
Okay. We got some uh, trivia answers here for percentages of how many Americans believe that a brown cow will produce chocolate milk. We've got 11%. Is there any downside for not accomplishing a goal? 20%. Uh, no, there is no downside. And you get a point for every chicken left as well. Uh, uh, every bird left as well. Oh, okay. Greg is hoping it's less than 1%, but is saying 5%. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, okay. I see why the board changed. Because all right. All now it's my on. turn. Okay. Let's see. Um, I've got one duck. Ooh, but it comes with a chicken. Uh -huh. You win four points if this animal appears in greater number in your farm than the farm of the player on your right at the oh, end of the that? game. No, that's nonsense. I will grab that and then dump that goal. <laughs> for, mm -hmm. for I will take my chicken and I will place it in the chicken spot and it will gain a bird. Hey, All right. Hey. And then I will reorganize my farm. Oh, why did I keep that goal? I shouldn't have kept it. Do I really goals. need to? Re I wonder if I reorganize. This is one question I have. If I reorganize my farm mm -hmm. and put the sheep on the other side of the pig, do I then get the three points again? No, you don't. Once you complete the goal, it goes uh, face down. Oh, it goes onto my achieved board. Okay, okay. You win three points if you only have one of these. And then if the mallards, if I have more mallards than other people, I don't really need mallards at all. Hmm. So I'm definitely going to plan on dumping that goal eventually. But I guess I can keep it for now. Yeah. <laughs> I really don't hmm. need to do any reorganizing. So, all right, I'll just keep the objective. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay, let's see. Um I will. So oh boy, we're only at forty one percent, not looking good for our playtime, he if said you have uh a, token if fan you have says a bird token, you can put it back in the common stock and replace all three goals or all three animals in the hiring space. Oh reorg, huh? Okay, you guys ready for the answer to the brown cow chocolate milk? It must be twenty. <laughs> seven seven percent of americans believe that brown cows produce chocolate milk oh uh, god why um why all right pack your bags token fan you are moving because it is above the one percent you were hoping for <laughs> All right, um, I'm going to get on to another trivia question in just a moment, one that's a little bit more sobering. sobering. <laughs> yeah, let's hope they included children and it's 7%. Although, I'll be a little disappointed if it's only 7%. Depends on how young the children are. Okay, what, here's the next trivia question. What percentage of large-scale farms in America are family-operated? So what percentage in the U.S. of large-scale farms are family-owned and operated? Hmm. I'm going to go high. I'm going to go 40%. Okay, I'm going to hire an animal here. Let's see. You already elected a leader, right, Celeste? Have I elected a leader? I did indeed elect a leader. Uh, it just says CCD hires an animal or elects a leader right now. So I was wondering if it's... Yes, I'm going to hire an animal. Oh, no, I'm not going to hire an animal. I'm going to hire... A, yeah, I don't want any of these animals. You could use a, you can use a bird mm. token to flop them out, right? I think I will. So I'm going to use a bird. Use a bird. Here we go. Replace gold cards, replace <laughs> animals. Animals. Oh, shoot. Still not what I needed. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. I said on their farm. I'm in trouble here. 
Jeez. All right. I'll go for it. Chicken. Where are you going with that chicken? Keep the objective? Yes, keep the objective. Thank you. All right. Hmm. Pig, chicken, goat, or chicken, horse. Oh, or... Mike, you're coming in low compared to some of these. Okra get. Hey, Okra get. Okra get says 70%. Oh, no. Token fan coming in low, 30%. Greg Jansen, 86%. Wow. Oddly specific. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oddly specific. <laughs> Uh, uh, let's see. I'm going to use Slapian strategy. One percent. Yeah, oh, let's do it. What do I have? Here? I quit the farming business too. If I found out, uh, I don't get chocolate milk out of the mutters. Oh, that I would be know. a good. That would be a reason to get up out of bed if you could milk out chocolate milk. That'd be all right. Uh, I'll keep that. All right, Ed. Come on. It's a children's game. Move along. Hey, it just became my turn just right now. <laughs> Mikey right. hoarding the birds, hoarding the birds. Hoarding the birds? What do you mean? You got two mean... birds. No, I don't. Yeah, two birds. I mean two birds. On your card, you have two birds. Not chickens, not mallards. Over there, birds you can use. Oh. They're over here. Okay, look on your scoreboard. Oh, oh the birds. Oh, the tokens. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, look on your scoreboard. Okay, yeah, yeah. my turn. I have to hire. Oh, good. One I actually need. Oh, but I need that one too. Ooh, choices, choices. Oh no, I have that one. Okay, so I think I'm good. I need to take this right here. Okay, so where do I place that pig? Right here to give me a bird. Thank you very mm. much. I didn't even look at the objective, so let me see if I want to keep it. I win three points if the animal on the left appears in greater number in your farm than the one on the right. Okay. Yeah, I don't need to rearrange right now. Why, guys, why would you need to rearrange? Can you imagine a situation? Yes. Yep, I have a situation right now where I'd love to rearrange something. And what is it? Uh, the card, some of the cards say if the, this animal oh, between goals. those two cards and stuff right. like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, let's see here. What do I need right now? What do I need right now? Where's my All card? right, so... Uh, guess what? Mr. Specific, Greg Jansen comes mighty close or closest. It's actually 99% of large scale farms are owned by families, family owned and operated. Okay. And they produce something like 80% of the, the produce. Just... 99%. I know it's wild, isn't it? Let's see. I need that over, I guess, there. Okay. And I will... What objective was that? I'll keep it. Because there seems to be okay, no Okay, okay. Here we go. Come on, Ed. All right. Let's try using a bird. That dies. <laughs> bird. Uh, we... Oh, man. Wait a oh, minute. So wow. Random? Oh, I didn't okay. Ah, oh, boo. I have a trivia question for you here, guys. Uh huh. Similar to our chicken flight question. Mm -hmm. How fast can a pig run a mile? Wow. Pigs are pretty fast. I'm gonna say <laughs> four minutes. Four minute mile for a pig. Four minute mile for a pig. Holy cow. Or yeah, holy pig. They're hustling. I don't know if they have the endurance to do a four minute mile, but. All right. Ed, who's your fearless leader you've chosen? He finally chose a leader. Ed has chosen a sheep? Is that a sheep? No, it's a dog. It's a goat. What is it? Uh, the goat. It's oh, a goat. No. What have I done? I messed everything up. All right, Ed. Reorganize or move along. Oh, oh, Okra gets coming in low, Mike, under you, underbid you with 3.5 minutes. Mm. It's possible. I, I was thinking it would be fast.
I got here. Oh, thank you. Thank you for letting me know it was my name. It's my turn. I was looking at my uh, trivia. Okay. Uh, let's see. We have to choose. I'm going to look mm. at my goal cards. I think I've achieved my goal. I think I missed it's two of those, there. one chicken, one horse, and one sheep. So I have achieved my long-term goal. So let me look at these goals here, these hourglass goals. Ugh, all the goals up there are hourglasses, blah. Maybe I'll flip the goals. Let's see. You win three points if the animal on the left appears in greater number than the animal on the right. And it comes with that. Okay. So if I move that in there, I switch those. Oh, wait. Once you achieve a goal, you can move stuff around too, huh? You win three points if you... Yeah, sure. Only have one animal of the species in your farm. Mm. Okay. All right. I'll give that a shot. I will choose to hire an animal. Thank you very much. And I will hire the animal and I will place the animal. Mm. <laughs> I guess it really doesn't matter where I place this animal. Right there. In there. Okay, guys. The pig running the mile. Hmm. I messed up. Celeste is reorganizing her farm. No, I'm not. I meant to keep the objective. Oh my gosh. Why didn't you guys tell me I was spar hawking? Spar hawking. Did you honestly think it took me that long to take my turn? All right, guys, mm. pigs running miles. You guys are all pretty close. You guys are all around, right around the, the, the proper mark. I don't think anybody said it exactly, but it is seven minutes. Seven minute mile. Not too shabby. <laughs> Not too shabby, Mr. Pig. All right, guys. Um, how many acres of farmland are there in the United States? How many acres of farmland? How many acres of farmland where? In the U.S. Oh, God. One million. <laughs> One million. All right, Ed. So now I need to do that. Oh, that's cool. So yeah, you might want to accomplish a goal and then swap it out and accomplish something else by just swapping. Interesting. It's got an objective, current one or old one? Uh, that's an excellent question. I'm looking forward to hearing the answer when you choose it. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm going to guess it's just the current one, but... But let me know if you find out. Right. Okay, here we go. So these are all hourglass goals. I can't. There's no way I'm going to win that goal. So did you find out about that uh, goal situation? No. Mm. I guess we'll just have to find out the hard way. I can use that. Uh, I, I can use that ability at the, on my last pick next round.
All right. Okay, where's the horsey going? Here's the horsey. Keep the objective. All right, I did it. Okay, so. <laughs> so we've got Token Fan coming in at one and a half million acres. Mm. Craig Jansen coming in at 3.2 million acres. Oh, Gregette bumping it way up to 350 million acres. Jack Burton, not to be outbid, comes in with 1 billion acres. And One the answer billion is... billion acres. Uh, Jack Burton is not too far off. 914 million acres of farmland. 914 million acres of farmland in the U.S. It's pretty wild, isn't it, Mike? Yeah, that is crazy. I, I didn't even know what scale to guess it on. <laughs> it's just <laughs> like billions, millions. I didn't even know, like <laughs> hundreds of thousands. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Ah. Okay. How many people can the average American farmer, the average U.S. farmer, feed? How many people? One each individual farmer? Each individual farmer feeds this many people, accounts for this many people being fed. 1,200. <laughs> That's my guess. I, again, I, these are good questions because I don't even know where to start. Like, I don't know what the scale <laughs> is. <laughs> Okay, I will hire an animal or use a bird. Is this the ninth round? Where do we see the rounds? It. Well, yeah. you don't see them. They just have nine animals on the board. Right. Okay, right, right, right. Duh. So <laughs> let me see if I can. Let's see if I need to use the bird or not. So if these two animals are next to one another on vertically or horizontally immediately. All right, so that solidifies that goal. All right, I'm going to get another four points. I don't know if it's going to be enough. Because I think everybody's got that, right? Let's see, you got... Uh, and I oh. think I get that objective, right? Keep the objective. Let's get some more ducks. All right. Oh, no, no. Uh, it's it. We won. Did we make CCD it in time? Wins? No. No, we did not. <laughs> uh, I won. Yep. Second Ooh, week in a row, a people. Points. 27 that's, points. That's why, we, that's why we banished Celeste in the first place. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> I wish. <laughs> Ed, what did it look like on the final uh, tally? Oh, Celeste got 27 points. Mikey with 25, and I had 20. All right. Okay. Yeah, that last round put you right over the top. Yeah, Celeste. I, I, I picking a leader early proved to be really useful. If the yeah. right one's out there, like if the right card setup is out there, picking the leader early could be good. Yeah. I didn't like the fact that he had to go in the middle, though. Although yeah, I, I like think that. to maybe switch him, like, does he have to stay in the middle or... Does it well, just... once, once you place him in the middle, then you can, I think, move him afterwards. Uh, that's what I was worried about. Okay, I should have just put him in earlier then. But he was the right one anyway. I was going for more sheep than the person on my right. So, Taking home the bacon. <laughs> <That worked. laughs> Taking home the bacon. Yep. Cool. All right, nice work. All right, guys. Nice thank you so much. I'm going to answer your last trivia question. 155 people on average. Oh, wow. The, okay. the average American farmer feeds 155 people. So I was off oh, by a scale. Too bad. Of we like had 10, we had right? some people that were way off on this one. <laughs> <laughs> I was I off where, by 900 people. <laughs> I don't know if Okraget thinks the farmer is in fact bionic or working 24 <laughs> seven, but he chose 12,000 people. 12,000. So I, I went 1,200. He went 12,000. You were two two uh, decimal places further yep. than. <laughs> Yeah, but I, I, I just think, it, well, how do we define feed though? You know what I mean? Like us, like one berry or like feed them all year. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, all right. <laughs> okay. All right, everybody. It was so great to see you. Take care. Bye. See ya. Bye you? everybody. All right. Bye everybody. <laughs> see you next you week. Yeah. <laughs> 12,000 people.